Hi guys, welcome to this video explaining why yields are not usually 100%. So normally this question will come hand in hand with percentage yield questions. So this is the type of question you could see. In a chemical reaction, 52 tonnes of copper was produced, the theoretical yield was 74 tonnes. A. Calculate the percentage yield, and B. Explain why it's not 100%. So if we start off with a calculation, which you can see in more detail on the top right of your screen now, our actual yield is 52, our theoretical yield is 74, so 52 divided by 74 multiplied by 100 gives us a percentage yield of 70.3%. So why is it not 100%? There are three main reasons you need to remember. Firstly, the reaction may not have finished. One of the reactants may have run out or it may not have been left long enough. Secondly, some of the reactants or products may have been lost. That can happen usually when transferring between beakers or conical flasks and some can be left on the side of them. And then finally, there may be some side reactions. So different products could be formed, meaning that there are less of the one that you need. That really is everything you need to know for this video. Let's have a look at a few questions then. Have a read through these questions, pause the video and have a go. As soon as you're ready, press play and we'll go through. Okay, let's go through. Part one, we have the actual yield 18.7 and the theoretical yield of 24.9. So nice and simply 18.7 divided by 24.9 multiplied by 100 gives 75.1%. Why is it not 100%? Any two of the following would give you two marks. Side reactions occurring, the reactions hadn't finished, or some products are lost when transferring between beakers. And that is it. I have got a review question for you. So have a read through, have a go, and let me know your answer in the comments, and I'll tell you if you're right. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel, you can check out the latest video, and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.